In the session 2 of test complete, we are going to discuss little more detail on test complete IDE. Okay, so let's get started. So we discussed how the project explorer holds the projects and the keyword tests, scripts, name mapping stores and tester apps. And also we discussed in keyword test there is something called test which actually has the operations like test actions, logging, checkpoints and other stuff. As you can see the test complete has got the keyword test and it has got the tests options here. It's very similar to the keyword view in the QTP. Well, if you guys have worked with QTP then it is very very simple again as like the name mapping and the object browser. Okay, so let's click the code explorer here. The code explorer tab actually holds all the code matrices. Of course, currently we don't have any codings in the scripts for scripts file. I couldn't see any number of lines here. That's pretty fine. So this is the object browser tab. It actually holds all the process which are running in our operating system. As you could see it has a sys namespace or the hierarchy. So this parent sys actually holds all the process which are running under it. So if you could see here there is a process called test complete which actually has all the windows and other stuff. Similarly, there are some other process like the process Qt agent process UI, which is actually nothing but my agent of Microsoft test agent. And this is the process which is process explorer, which is the Windows Server 2008 explorer. So you can also add the objects property from within this process itself using object browser. We can discuss about object browser and using them during test in later sessions. Well, coming back to the Project Explorer and the test, here, this test, this window actually shows the test steps. So whatever testing we record, it actually falls into this test step. There is something called a variables tab. Here, we can add a variable and we can use the same variable value within the test step or within the test scripts. Similarly, there are some parameters as like QDP as a parameterized testing. We can also add some other parameters here and we can use the same parameters in the test steps and also in the scripts. So the IDE is very very simple as you could see by clicking the record script it will automatically shows you the record test option using this. So currently the testing the test complete is in record mode so we can record that now we can whatever operation we perform it will be recorded within test complete now let's say I'm going to record the test so currently this is recording the test in a script mode so I can change it to the keyword test mode by clicking this button and let's say I'm going to test the calculator application here. So it is just going to record the operation whatever I have performed by clicking the Windows button here and clicking the calculator button there and the operation what I'm going to perform in the calculator like this. So everything will be recorded. So I have stopped the test recording right now. Oh, it's taking much time for me because uh, it's running in a virtual machine and it takes me a lot of time to process. Okay, so it has just recorded the test and it has just came to this test options. So basically it has recorded the test here right now. 
So, as you could see, here it is showing me my run tested app as the calculator. So, it's also giving me some description as runs the Calci tested application. And there is a calculator. And the test visualizer, it actually shows me the calculator application with operation whatever I have performed. It seems like due to some slow operation my machine hasn't recorded the full operation but it has just recorded the clicking of the frame in the calculator. But very anyhow, in this demonstration we are going to just to see how this ID is helpful for recording our test. So we don't have to consider about how this is being recorded or not. So this is basically how you can use the IDE very much productive. So you can see whatever operation that you have performed, you know, test recording operation here. Similarly, the variables I was talking about, you can add a new variable by clicking the new item here. And you can specify the type of variable here. Let's say I'm going to add a string, let it be. And I'm going to give a default value for the string as hello. Let's not give it in a double quotes. Let's just give it twice it is. Okay. And we can just save this. So you can add a variables like this. Similarly for the parameters, this will be very, very helpful moving forward in the upcoming session. I will show you how this parameter is really much helpful. So you can just add a strings here as like the variables and you can add some of the default values and other stuff. Well, this is the basic introduction of test complete and how we can use the test complete for our testing purpose. So we can discuss about creating a new project and recording a new test in our upcoming session. Thank you for watching.